All right, we're gonna we're gonna quickly touch on the most widely used phrase in all the dog training, especially protection dog training, but also agility and, and to a degree obedience and all this other stuff. So uh, this is gonna be a little primer so you can kind of get an idea of how these drives are used. First, let me be clear. There are two drives used in dog training. Prey drive and defense. That's it. When the first, when Schutzen first started in this country back in the 70s and those German trainers came over here with this, this, this concept of using drives, it was amazing because all we'd done in America was, you know, torment the dog until he gets mad enough to bite somebody. <laughs> Junkyard dogs, you've heard the phrase. What the drives give you the ability to do is literally shape exactly what the dog is doing. And I know people can talk about fight drive and this drive and another drive and four wheel drive. And some people are gonna to wanna to take a Sunday drive and all these other drives, but there's two drives used. And I'll give you a quick definition. A drive is a scientific term. So I'm talking about what's recognized scientifically. There's, there's only two drives used in dog training, prey and defense. Scientists do not have ball drive. Some of them got some pretty big, well, never mind. Uh, but they don't have that kind of drive, you see. So the third drive is just that, sex drive. And you think of them the same way. A drive has to be something that has a, an involuntary response. In other words, the dog cannot help how they respond. That's what makes it so valuable in training. It's an involuntary response to a specific stimulus specific stimulus so if it sees a rabbit you can spot when it wants to chase the rabbit if some if a grizzly bear steps up and threatens it you can see it's scared so how do we use these these drives to make a really good protection dog the phrase that was used when the germans first came over here is balance and it's a little difficult to think of you can only be in one drive at a time so if they're in prey drive, how can you balance and also have be in defense drive? So let me give you a quick little primer on that. We're going to have a DVD tutorial uh, available for purchase that's going to break down drives, everything you can ever possibly want to know about drives and how to use them to train your dog. But here's one Maki from uh, Taki from Japan called me the other day and was looking for some information. She was at one of our dog training schools uh, back several years ago, one of our better little dog trainers to come out of the school. So this, uh, Maki, uh, this should answer all your questions. Prey drive, that's when they want to chase a rabbit to find food, right? You know they're in prey drive because they're leaning forward, maybe their tail's up real high and maybe swishing a little bit. And everything about the dog says go, and that's why you use prey drive. It's the propelling drive. It's also a confidence building drive. They go after that rabbit because they know they can whoop him. They know they can get him, okay? Defense. Defense is the drive that we used to train dogs for in America, and that's why 60% of the dogs used uh, went into the military were flunked out, because in defense, you have two choices, fight or flight. You've all heard that phrase. Well, in nature, there's no such thing as cowardly conduct, right? And they don't care about being brave. In nature, it's all about survival. So flight is every bit as legitimate as fight. What you have to do in using these drives is say, you know, excuse me, my little dog's outside whining and she whines so loud we can hear her through the door. So um, anyway, what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna start your dog in prey drive. The purpose, the reason is because you wanna build their confidence. You don't fight things you're afraid of or things you're not sure of. So you start them off in prey drive and they win the fight and they win the fight and they win the fight. If you stimulated them properly, every, every dog has prey drive, period. It's no different. It's a survival aspect of all dogs, all mammals, period. You have prey drive. Some are more energetic in how they respond, but they have prey drive. So now, you've worked your young dog, you've got his confidence up, he knows he can do it. Now you go to the tricky part, because when you start in defense, remember, that dog can choose flight over fight. Now you have a dog who's been, you know, decided that the best way to survive is to turn tail and get out of here. 
So what we want to do now is, this is what we mean by balance. You've built the prey drive up and up and up, and this dog, when he hears that alert command, he's got a condition response and he goes, yeah, that's what we term the on switch. But now, you have to put him under pressure. You have to put stress on the dog to see if he'll really stand his ground or if he's just taking the easy rabbits and leaving the tough grizzly bears alone. This is where your defense comes in. You're gonna start adding defense. You're gonna threaten the dog a little bit. You're gonna maybe tap him with a whip. You're gonna use body language as you approach the dog to show him that you mean business and you're there to take him out. You're not there just to let him chase you. This is where the balance comes in. What happens is he's worked in prey drive enough times that boom, he turns on immediately. And then when you switch and show him that you're a real threat, he's gonna start getting defensive. But the thing about defense is this, the dog is only choosing a way out of possible death, right? So he has two choices, fight or flight. You've worked in prey drive so long that now every time he sees a man in front of him, his, his natural response has been to go into fight. This is what they meant by balancing the drive. You have shown the dog the way to win a fight is not to take flight, but to engage the person. So you have the propelling confidence of prey drive, and now, you have your dog well planned choosing fight over the flight. And what does defense gives you? Dogs that are biting when they're threatened by a grizzly bear, if they bite that grizzly bear, chomp him on the knee because they decided to stay and fight, guess what? They're chomping down really, really hard. So prey drive, because they're confident when they go to grab that rabbit, makes them open their mouth really big and just pick that puppy up because they know they can take him home and win the fight. So now what you've done is you've used prey drive so much that they automatically always bite full. And now when you add your defense, you have a dog who bites full and very, very hard. That's the balance. You've simply done enough repetitions to build their confidence, to make them choose the fight over the flight. And then you've done enough repetitions in prey drive so that they automatically, like it's throwing Boom, a left jab and they just do it perfectly with their eyes closed no problem but now it'd be as if you'd practice your left jab in the gym a hundred times and then somebody jumped out at you in the middle of a dark alley and went boo when you pop that jab you would be putting all your force into it and that's what happens when you balance a dog and train with prey and defense now when that when you tell that dog to get somebody or something not only is he going to bite full, he's going to bite very, very, very hard. And that's why we put our drives, our scientific drives together, and you can absolutely manipulate any dog into doing exactly what I just said if you know how to read these drives and you know how to stimulate and turn these drives on. So we'll get into drives a little bit more if someone's got some questions. I'm sure there's at least 462 experts out there. They're going to come back and tell me and ask about you know, uh, pack drive and, and, and uh, Sunday drive and all these other drives. Uh, don't worry about those. Pray and defense will get everything done for you and you don't have to make so many explanations. So, uh, oh, and, and, but there's also, there, there, is, there is another drive I, got, I forgot. Don't forget your, your like and subscribe drive. You can go down there and click that, click that subscribing button and you can come back and watch everybody tell me what I don't know in all the future videos we do on drive, okay? Hey, enjoy it folks, gotta go back to work, thanks.